In the previous video, I worked through a problem of flipping a coin. Um, and what is different to that, to this problem, is that every time I flip the coin, it would be the same probability of either getting the heads or the tails. You can also work with this uh, when you have unequal probabilities. So in this case, I'm looking at rolling a die, so singular dice, and I'm going to roll it nine times. What is the probability of getting exactly two sixes? So the probability of getting a six is one over six. Uh, the probability of not getting a six is five over six. And so there are two different probabilities to take account of. So one of the possibilities would be to get two sixes in a row, followed by not a six, 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 not a six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that is one of the possibilities. Now, to work out the probability of that, well, this is one over six times one over six, so one over six squared, times five over six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so to the power of seven. So one over six squared times five, six to the power of seven. So that's the probability of just one of the events occurring. But there are going to be multiple combinations, multiple ways of doing it. So if I want out of a possible nine, to get two sixes, then I want to find 9 NCR2. Okay, so I find 9 NCR2 on the calculator, and that gets me 36. And so the probability for this question is 36 times 1 over 6 squared times 5 over 6 to the 7. So it's the number of possible combinations times by the probability of the event occurring by how many times I want it to occur times the probability of it not occurring to the power of how many times it won't show up or we don't want it to show up. So I plug that into the calculator 36 times 1 over 6 squared and then you're going to times that by 5 sixths to the power of 7 and that gets me 0.279 to three significant figures. Okay? And that's how we can deal with unequal probabilities like this.